if you have a Mercedes that shows the stop uh, sign and then maybe ABS and brake and a few other warning lights and that vehicle is equipped with SBC counter or M SBC pump uh, what could happen in that is the Mercedes put a counter on that so uh, there's a, a certain number of times that that pump is supposed to operate and then once it reaches zero and then that pump basically shuts down and it doesn't assist you in the braking and the brake pedal is very hard and it's very hard to bring the car to a stop which can be dangerous but if you do have a good pump or if you have a pump that's been rebuilt a SBC pump that's been rebuilt you can reset that counter and get rid of those warning uh, lights on the instrument cluster so I'm going to show you that how to do that in just a second so on the Mercedes scanner you want to go to maintenance function from the home screen and then press ABC ABS service and then select Mercedes go Mercedes and then go to smart again here we have a 97 SL500 so this is a R2 R230 chassis but uh, there's other models that have this um, the system the SBC SBC brake system um, a lot of the early 2000 models like the E-Class the CLS have this system as well so let's press OK as you can see here you can deactivate SBC and activate it which is required if you replace uh, brake pads you can bleed the ABS pump run it so that um, you can you know get air out if you replace the brake line or something like that but towards the bottom you have brake counter update and recalculate left time so what this does if that counter has reached zero press it so shows the current lifetime of the counter that's okay you can set it at zero or you can set it at hundred percent so if you have an SBC pump that's been uh, rebuilt you want to set it at hundred percent and then it says completed now this is very critical to only carry this procedure on an SBC pump that's been rebuilt if you reset the counter on a pump that's old that pump might fail while you're driving and then all of a sudden you uh, don't have the assistant of the SBC pump to brake I mean you can still brake but it's the brake pedal becomes really hard uh, to press and the car is going to take a lot longer to stop so it's important to not uh, reset the counter on an old pump especially on a pump that's you know on a high mileage vehicle that you don't know how much life is left on it so this procedure um, ideally should be carried on when the SBC pump has been rebuilt uh, if you were installing a, a used SBC pump then you might want to put it at 50% or even 25% life left because uh, you, you don't know how much you know how long that pump is gonna last and the problem is if it fails when you're driving you're gonna lose brakes and end up in an accident which can be dangerous for you your driver other people on the road so be, be very careful with this uh, when resetting the brake counter on a Mercedes with SBC suspension. Thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.